What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Now when we take a look at the most consumed foods in the United States of America, near the top of that list is a good old fashioned cheeseburger. For better or for worse, with the advent of fast food restaurants, it's made it easier than ever before to drive through, grab a meal, eat way too many calories, and some businesses spend way too much money and overall not do our bodies any good when it comes to losing weight and building muscle. But don't you guys worry, because in today's video I'm going to show you how to make the perfect bison burger right in your own kitchen that is loaded down with flavor loaded down with protein, and most importantly, will fit right into your diet. Just because you're trying to lose weight doesn't mean you can't have cheeseburgers. All it means is that you gotta make it yourself, and if you do that and put your best foot forward, you can eat good and lose weight without even trying. And for all of my anabolic recipes that are higher in protein, delicious, and most importantly, work for your diet, don't forget, all of them are available in my cookbook, which you will find at the first link in the description box. I really believe if you follow what's in this book, you will see results no matter what, and you'll be eating good at the exact same time. Hit that link down below to check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all already have a little fun, then I am too. Let's go. We are gonna start our burger off with 168 grams of ground bison. This isn't full fat bison, this is 90-10 lean ground bison, and if we look here, you can see it's a little lighter pink than our traditional 96% lean ground beef we normally use. That's because there's a little more fat in here, so there's already a ton of flavor in ground bison. But in order to make this gourmet, we do have to season it, so let's do that. So what we'll do is toss this in a large mixing bowl, and what we're gonna add in is a dash of garlic powder, a dash of onion powder, a dash of paprika, and then finally a dash of kosher salt, and a dash of black pepper. And then now We'll just go in by hand and work our bison until that seasoning is fully incorporated into all the meat. And once it's seasoned, I'm gonna sit it on a cutting board and I wanna flatten it out and mold it into our patty. I don't want it to be too thick because it's not gonna cook right. So I'm just gonna press it down and form it into that perfect burger shape we want. Keep in mind, the thinner this gets, the faster it'll cook and the more evenly it'll cook, which in turn is gonna yield a way better burger. Our patty looks fantastic. What I'm gonna do is let it sit for a few minutes, let those seasonings really sweat out on the meat. And while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna grab 28 grams of diced sweet onions and we're gonna caramelize these in order to create the perfect topping for our burger. I have a small skillet on the stove set to medium heat. We'll hit it with a little nonstick. Then I'll pour my onions down inside. Then I'll just flatten them out a little bit. Then we'll let it do its thing for about four to five minutes until they're nice, caramelized, and perfect. And while we're waiting on the onions, we will make our secret sauce for this burger. This one's really simple. We need some light Miracle Whip. I need about 30 grams. I'm gonna weigh it out. And then we pair that with 15 grams of Dijon mustard. Then I'll just go in real quick, stir everything together. And then once it's smooth and mixed up like this, we'll set it off to the side. And here we go. After about four minutes, we got beautiful caramelized onions. They're gonna be perfect for our burger. I'm gonna set these off to the side. And then real quick, the burger should be good to cook now, but I like to have everything ready so right when the burger's done, we can build. So when it comes to buns, I personally always recommend Nature's Own Butter Buns. For only 140 calories a piece, I think these are the best buns you can buy. They give you the most authentic taste without going overboard on the calories. It's easy to get a bun that's upwards of 300 calories. But if you're using this, you won't even realize you're making the better choice. What we're gonna do is preheat a large skillet to medium heat, hit it with nonstick, and then all I wanna do is give these buns a quick toast. This part is completely optional, but I think if you do it, you won't regret it. So we'll just toss these in and let them do their thing. And now for the moment of truth, it's time to grill. You can grill this in a skillet if you want, and it's not gonna make much difference, but I love to use my Phillips indoor tabletop grill. Got on an Amazon pretty cheap. It's a fantastic alternative if you don't have a grill outside or you don't wanna mess up your skillet. So here we go. Hit it with a little nonstick. Then I'm gonna place our seasoned bison burger on here and probably let it cook for about four to five minutes each side. That should make it just how we want. It's been roughly four minutes. We can go ahead and flip this bad boy. And boom. Ooh, that is perfect on top. Now I'm gonna let this cook for about four more minutes. And at about the two minute mark, I'm gonna take a slice of fat free American cheese, sit it on top, and let it melt a little bit before we build. I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, baby, the burger is done. Now we build. I'm gonna take our secret sauce from earlier, spread it on our toasted bottom bun. And one of the reasons you do want to toast is that it hardens up this bread here so your sandwich is easier to hold and all this sauce doesn't make it soggy. And then now we'll just lay the burger right on top. Perfect. And then last but most certainly not least, we will take our caramelized onions and place them right on top of the sandwich. <laughs> then we just place the top bun on and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a perfect bison burger. 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what a diet-friendly bison burger looks like. It wasn't a matter of using fake vegan meat or trying to use any keto-type buns or anything like that. We're able to use traditional ingredients, just making the best choices, using a combination of the right seasonings and cooking techniques, and overall just getting in the kitchen and putting in a little bit of that elbow grease. Like I said earlier, just because you're dieting doesn't mean you can't eat good. All it means is that you have to take charge of your diet, get in that kitchen, and make the magic happen. You can quite literally eat whatever you want on a diet. You just can't leave it in the hands of big corporations to do it for you. Get in here, put in the work, make delicious foods like this, and I promise you the results will come. All right, folks, I really want to eat this. If you could do me a solid and hit that thumbs up button for me, that helps the channel out more than anything else you guys do. Comment anything down below and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Now, let's put this thing in our mouth. All right, folks, here we go. First, though, before we bite into this delicious burger, I gotta tell you about the most delicious protein bar in the world, the Anabar. Never before in history, dating all the way back to the Egyptians, the cavemen, has there been a protein bar that tastes this amazing. 21 grams of protein, and it literally tastes like a candy bar. This is the fruity cereal crunch flavor, basically coated in white chocolate, filled with fruity pebble cereal and protein. It's amazing. Let me pop one open for you. First off, that packaging's incredible. Slider out, you can see that white chocolate coat literally falls apart right down the middle and if you look inside you can literally see the fruity pebbles in every single bite i'm telling you if you like good food and you like getting in protein there's nothing better out there than an anabar if you're a first time buyer, I would recommend trying this flavor out because I know as long as you love fruity pebbles and white chocolate, this literally tastes like a bowl of cereal and you're gonna love it. But keep in mind, we've got a wide variety of flavors. You can go to our website, theanabar.com, use my code RJF10 at checkout, you'll save money, and you'll be getting the best dang protein bar on the market. Our new flavor, Monster Cookie Crunch, will be dropping September 15th at 3 p.m. Central. So if you're already a big fan and you wanna try, in my opinion, the best flavor we've ever dropped, make sure you set a reminder. I appreciate you guys for all the support. All right, people, it is burger time. Let's give you guys a little better look at that right there. If that doesn't look like the perfect burger, I don't know what does. Anytime I make a burger, I inevitably get comments about, where's the lettuce, where's the tomato, where's the veggies? And me growing up the way I did, we just didn't eat that stuff for better or for worse. But keep in mind, if you add lettuce or tomato to this, you're only gonna add a very negligible amount of calories. So feel free to do whatever you want to dress this thing up. But I think as long as you got the base here like I did, no matter what you add to it, as long as it's not manure, it's gonna be pretty dang good. Now let's get here and get a bite. Three, two, one, Lego. That shit right there, bud, that's some money. The secret sauce, the creamy Miracle Whip with the Dijons, very good. Caramelized onions, obviously a hit, but the real star of the show is that bison meat. Now here's the thing, it took me a long time to realize this, guys, and I'm stressing this to anybody watching. If you wonder why when you make burgers, you make steaks, you make specific cuts of meat, and you wonder why they just don't taste as good as what you get at a restaurant, the biggest reason for that is that you are not seasoning them properly. Seasoning is literally half the battle of anything you make. You can take even the leanest cuts of chicken breast with not a lot of natural flavor, season them right, and they will taste gourmet. So if I teach you guys anything, it's that if you're making meat, you just gotta season it. And if you season the bison, just like how I showed you, it's really gonna taste gourmet, and I know you're gonna love it. And when you love what you're eating, it doesn't even feel like a diet, it literally becomes a lifestyle, and not even a lifestyle that you don't enjoy living. Like I always preach, we tweak a few of those levers in the brain, and you start buying the right ingredients and preparing your stuff a certain way, you're naturally gonna lose weight, build muscle, and eat good all at the same time. Mm. Now in this entire burger, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is only 468 calories with 16 grams of fat, 44 grams of protein, and 37 grams of carbs. For a bison burger, those macros are literally perfect. If you compare this to any other bison burger from any of your favorite restaurants that serve them, look up the nutrition facts, I guarantee this one is half the calories, way less fat, and overall, it's just a way better addition to your diet. When you eliminate the unnecessary oils, the unnecessary full fat ingredients, and make minor tweaks and swaps as far as buns and other things are concerned, you can easily cut the calories of your favorite foods in half. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire thesis of the anabolic diet and these recipes. All right, ladies and gents, we're down to the final bite. Let's send her on. Wow, in my very humble opinion, I think a bison burger is the best burger you will ever have in your life. And if you make this one, I know you're gonna love it. If you decide to make it, tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tinder, Christian Mingle, wherever it is your social, and let me know what you think. And as always, you will find this recipe and all of my other recipes in my anabolic cookbook, which you'll find at the first link in the description box. If you wanna take control of your diet, learn all the tips, tricks, secrets that took me years to amass, all this knowledge is translated into this book. You can take it and apply it to yourself. This will be the easiest diet 
you've ever followed, as long as you're willing to get in that kitchen and make some magic happen, hit that link down below and I know you'll be better off for it. There we have it, people. I am burger stuffed, I feel amazing, and I'm about to go tackle the rest of this day. First, if you think this jersey's pretty cool or the shorts I'm wearing are pretty cool, don't forget you can always grab yourself some at youngla.com. Use my code RGF, you will save money, and you're gonna have some pretty fly clothes. I know I'm wearing a jersey right now, and just so no one gets the wrong idea, I definitely am not in the league, but I've been known to ball. That is the worst thing I've ever said on camera. Appreciate you guys, as always, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We gone. Oh.